What's going on guys? My name is Will Dillingham and I am at Inertia Labs testing facility. Today we're going to do another tutorial video and here I have with me our professional dual antenna version of the motion reference unit. What we are going to do today is go through the graphical user interface and I'm going to show you a couple of key settings to make sure that you set up your device properly when you're using it. Now in today's video we're not going to take the time to go into detail in setting up the hardware connections so if you need help doing that please check the video below. Now once you have the device connected to your host computer and have opened up the graphical user interface, you're going to want to start out by making your way to test options, select the serial port for the unit, and for baud rate go ahead and click auto. After that go ahead and select your output data format, for right now I'm going to leave it on OPVT, and then click OK. The first place that I'm going to go to for configuring settings is the device options menu. Inside this window, these settings all pertain to the unit itself. The test options menu that we were just in do only pertain to the graphical user interface. So test options changes settings for the graphical user interface and device options actually configures parameters for the device itself. Now inside the device options window, the first tab is the IMU tab. Inside this window you will see a few different options, but the most important ones here are going to be your alignment angles and the antenna positions. You see we have an option for primary antenna, and then we have two options for configuring the secondary antenna baseline. Now typically when mounting one of these devices, Conventionally, you would have the y-axis of the device, which is pointed in this direction, lined up with the nose or the front of the vessel that it is being mounted to. What the alignment angles feature in the graphical user interface gives the user the ability to do is mount the MRUPD in any orientation that they would like, such that the MRU continuously outputs valid orientation data for the vessel in any known orientation of the device. So how do you correctly enter in the alignment angles? The first alignment angle is the heading offset. The value that is entered here is the angular offset of the device's longitudinal, this is the y-axis, compared to the desired reference longitudinal axis. This is typically the y-axis of the carrier object. A clockwise rotation of the device is entered in as a positive heading alignment angle into the graphical user interface. The second alignment angle is the pitch offset. The value that is entered here is the angular offset of the device's longitudinal y-axis compared to the desired reference lateral plane. Typically, this is the xy plane of the carrier object. A device rotation in the upward direction is entered in as a positive pitch alignment angle in the GUI. The third and final alignment angle is the roll offset. The device that is entered here is the angular offset of the device's lateral axis, the x-axis, compared to the desired reference lateral plane, typically the xy plane of the carrier object. A rotation of the device's lateral x-axis in the downward direction is entered in as a positive roll alignment angle in the GUI. Another key setting in the device's options window are the antenna positions of the primary and secondary antennas. The primary antenna position is entered in as three distance measurements measuring from the device's accelerometer mass center to the center of the antenna. These measurements are entered in the following order, right, forward, and up. These are the positive directions of measurement from the device's reference location and orientation. Similarly, do the same with the secondary antenna, or alternatively, enter in the secondary antenna position as antenna baseline orientation angles alpha and beta. Alpha is the angle of measurement determining the secondary antenna's angular offset in the device's lateral plane measuring off of the device's longitudinal axis as a reference. In a similar manner, beta is the angle of inclination determining the secondary antenna's angular offset in pitch. This is measured by using the device's lateral xy plane as the reference and comparing this to the inclination angle of the secondary antenna relation to the primary antenna. Additionally, if the user plans to start up the MRU in an environment that does not have GNSS to begin, they will need to enter in the latitude and longitude of the location of the device. 
For units that are configured into auto start, where the user would like to immediately auto output data after power up of the device, they will need to configure the auto start setting by clicking the drop down menu and selecting the data output of choice. If the user plans on using the device in auto start and they would also like to record data using the graphical user interface, they're going to want to make sure they configure it in auto start in devices options and then after they hit OK and load the parameters onto the device like so, they want to make their way back to test options and make sure they click allow auto start. This will make sure that the graphical user interface can open up and immediately begin reading and recording data from the MRUPD while it is in auto start. The last key setting that the user should be aware of is the sway compensation options. If you open this options menu, you'll notice that you can enter in a device mounting lever arm. This is to counter for sway compensation. The location that you'd want to enter here is the right forward and up position from the location of the MRU to the center of gravity or the center of rotation of the carrier object. Well guys, thank you so much for watching today's tutorial video. If there are any specific tutorials that you would like to see done, please do not hesitate to comment on one of our videos and let us know how we can better assist you. And please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much and have a great day.